Christie. And now let's go to the same manner. Firstly, is the Lady Zebras. A question number two, Aubrey Wilson. A junior number three, Riley Cavendish. A question number 15, Jaden Field. A junior number 25, Audrey Wallinger. And a junior number 33, Ella Carter. The ladies here is the coach by Joel Burris. Field High School. Glad you could join us. Randy and Val, Steve's on the camera doing another fine job as always as we get ready to go for our final game of the regular season for girls basketball. Ella McCarter will jump and I'm going to guess that uh, so will Baker. Tip we'll New Valley and Manchester playing just down the road here. Okay. Twin Lakes is, uh, Win Winnemac's at Twin Lakes tonight. Yeah, that. And the Winnemac boys are hosting North Jetson. Yeah. Could be interesting. So here we go. We get ready to go. We're underway from Northfield High School. And the tip is controlled by Northfield. Picked up by Akun. She gives it up to Baker. Baker at the top. Baker goes around the right side. Baker down down the corner. Here is Kuhn. Three on the way. No good. Rebound fought for. Tipped around. Last touch by Northfield. It'll be Zebra basketball. Ooh, that was that was close. You don't want to give an open three to Kuhn like that, is it? Yeah, that was a, a wide open look. Clevenger has the basketball now for Rochester. Comes in the near side now to Wilson. Back up top to McCarter. She'll fire three. Open, no good. Rebound goes long and it's tipped out of bounds. It is last touched by Hoover. So it'll stay with Rochester. Nice job by Field getting yeah. a hand in there. Clevenger inbounds it to McCarter. McCarter. Clevenger three on the way from the corner. In and out. No good. Rebound fought for. And Hoover comes away with it. I've always thought of this gym as a nice shooting gym, but maybe <laughs> not maybe not after those first shots from both teams. Baker around the screen. Pulls up for a 10-footer. No good. Rebound fought for. McCarter has it. And she'll look for Clevenger. She gets it to her. And here comes Riley. Riley quickly up the floor. Now pulls up. Waits on the offense. Gets set. Now they'll go to the left side. Now to McCarter. McCarter into the paint, pull up jumper, nope, takes, turns around, kicks it back out. Here's Wilson with it. Wilson, left side down to McCarter. 6.55 to go here in the opening quarter. We're scoreless. Northfield in the man with Baker on Aubrey Wilson, which is an interesting matchup. Yeah. I would have thought she'd guard McCarter, but no. Coons guarding McCarter. And then you've got uh, Crum on Clevenger. Another three on the way, no good. Rebound fought for. And Holmes comes away with it. Quickly up is Hoover. Hoover now down in the corner. They go cross court over to Crum. Back up top. Now back in the corner again to Kuhn. Kuhn goes back up top to Baker. Baker resets. Backs it back out. Goes right side Kuhn. Still scoreless. 6.18 to go in the opening quarter. Now they go into Hoover and a foul coming. And that's going to be Bollinger's first team first. And that's going to be where the Zebras are going to have to be patient and uh, not commit too many fouls. Right now, that inbounds now pass, there they, pass. they put the girl in the corner, but oh, turn on by Wilson. Wilson with the basketball. Wilson goes up and misses the layup. It was contested by Kuhn. I think she kind of felt her coming. And Baker has it now for Northfield. Still scoreless. Two minutes gone by. Crum with it. Back up top to... Baker now in the middle. Now they go down low, and that one's off the foot of Hoover. 
Picked up by Clevenger. Clevenger with the basketball. Clevenger, top of the key. Well, Holmes would have knocked out that girl in dodgeball, but we're playing basketball. Yeah. And now we're going to have... Just out of bounds. Out of bounds to the Zebras. I'm surprised Holmes didn't just turn around and shoot that. Yeah. So she tried a tough pass and hit her teammate in the leg. Zebras now going to inbound. They look to get it in. Zebras over the top to Clevenger. Clevenger now with the basketball. Clevenger gives it back up to Wilson. Wilson has it top of the key. Apologize for technical difficulties on Giant FM side. As we have a ball out of bounds, it'll stay with the timing. The okay, the timing of that play was weird. It, it was a cross screen to get, I thought to get Aubrey Bowling or look in the post, but the timing was way off, and Rochester fortunate to maintain possession. So now the Zebras will have the basketball. Zebras top the key. Zebras have it. Left side. At air ball. Picked up by Bollinger. Bollinger with the basketball. Bollinger top the key. Bollinger. Has a jump ball. It'll stay with Rochester. Again, apologize for the difficulties. Gene Fields, good inbounds passer. Field looking to inbound, throws it over the top. She always makes the right decision. Field gives it in to Clevenger. Clevenger, top of the key to McCarter. McCarter left side. Now gives it back up to Wilson, top of the key. Wilson. Top of the key again is Wilson. Wilson has the basketball. Wilson has it. Good quick hands there by Baker. And that'll be out of bounds. Now back to the Zebras. 4.25 to go, still scoreless here. As the Zebras have it top the key. Zebras with the basketball. Down low to Bollinger. Bollinger kicks it back out. Stolen by Crum. Crum has it. Crum. Good job recovering by Northfield defensively there. Rochester ran a 1-4 low to get a McCarter to pop out and maybe get a three, but they ran out and closed, closed out on her and made it tough, and Rochester didn't get a shot off. Zebra's... The turnover now back to Northfield. Northfield has the basketball. Northfield, top of the key, now on the right side. Northfield, back over to the top of the key. Back up top. Northfield with the basketball. Shot on the way from the corner, no good. Rebound, put up and good by. Who is that, was, that was Baker. Baker with her first points of the game, 2-0. Two nothing. Zebras lead it or Zebras trail. <laughs> Foul on J.C. Crom. Her first and the team's first. So the Zebras trail here now. This time it's going to be McCarter to make the inbounds pass. This field. See if they can try to get Jaden open. So look to get it in. Top of the key. Horn set. Zebras have it. Turnover. Two rebounds for Holmes. Now the Zebras back on defense. J.C. Crum called for, uh, she stepped out of bounds with the ball. Yeah. Turnover number three for Northfield. 2-0 Northfield with 2.40 to go in the first quarter. Yeah. 
Wilson. Off to McCarter. Back to Wilson. They were running Clevenger through some screens. Now she gets open. Three-point tries. An air ball by Riley. And Field gets a rebound and then travels. Turnover number two for Rochester. Rebound number one for Field. But uh, 2.21 to go in the first quarter. Northfield leads 2 to nothing. We're going to have a sub in. And that's Callie Hoffman. She is a sophomore. And she wears number 13 in white. Hoffman will give Hoover a rest. Rochester mounting like a, basically a half-court trap, just basically an extended zone. Braylon Hunter is now, is now in the game for Rochester. And she touches that ball last. So it'll be Northfield ball side out of bounds. Braylon Hunter. So now the back with the basketball. And now it is Northfield with it. Northfield back up top. Cross court pass over to Crub. Now down in to Hoffman. Hoffman turn around, no good. And the rebound comes away to Hunter. Hunter has the basketball. Hunter. We'll give it off to Clevenger. 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 Back down to McCarter. Now to Clevenger to Wilson. Wilson has the basketball. Top of the key now to McCarter. McCarter with it. Carter goes right side around the screen, and we're going to have a foul. And it's going to be on Northfield as she goes through. Kuhn just plowed over a yeah. screen. Some Northfield fans didn't like that, but I, it certainly wasn't an illegal screen. Hillary Eltsroth disagreeing with the call, or at least asking questions. So now it'll be Zebra basketball after the first foul for Northfield. Two team fouls on Northfield, one oh, on Rochester. Sorry, two on Northfield. My apologies. And now Zebra's with the basketball. Still 2 nothing. Here's a steal by Crum. Crum gives it off to Baker. Baker up and good. 4 nothing. Zebra's with the basketball now. Zebra's have it. Zebras, top of the key. That was a really nice pass by Crom in transition. Northfield with it. Northfield with the basketball, now up top. That goes to Holmes. Holmes has it. Holmes. And that was Hoffman going Hoffman class with her first two, and it's 6 0. 25 seconds to go in the quarter. 6 0. Rochester trails on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Zebras have it with 13 seconds. Clevenger on the left side. Clevenger. Clevenger to McCarter. McCarter into the paint, throws up a running jumper, can't get it to go. Two seconds, and we're going to have a late jump ball whistle, and it'll go back to Northfield with .4 seconds remaining. Well, that's a pretty advantageous break here. They throw it up, and that's going to do it for the quarter. I was say, unless they make a 70-footer. And they almost did. Six points for the Northfield Norse. No points for Rochester at the end of the front first quarter. On the Rochester Glass scoreboard, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Back here on uh, RTC TV4. I apologize if you're listening on WROI as we're having some technical issues. Carter with the basketball for the Zebras. Rochester has it now on the left side. Clevenger, three ball on the way is good for Riley Clevenger. Six to three. Zebras with the basketball. Zebras have it. Top of the key. Now they go to in the middle. That is Holmes. Holmes with two. Holmes has it with the basket now. Eight to three. Holmes averages 13 a game, and I don't think she even took a shot in the first quarter. No, he, she didn't. Eight three here at Northfield High School. Again, I apologize for technical difficulties from Northfield for Giant FM. 
Three on the way for Hunter, way off the mark, and Bollinger fights for the rebound, and it's going to go out of bounds, last touch by the Zebras. Rochester tried to pick and roll on that play, and Northfield did a great job of defending it. They jumped back into the coverage, and Braylon Hunter kind of an out of rhythm of three there. That was way long. Back up top, that's Kuhn. Coon comes now to Baker. Again, I apologize. Uh, technical difficulties here in Northfield High School. Zebras trail 8-3 to three on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, and here comes a foul on Wilson. It's going to be her first. Crum a little uh, irritated, kind of throws the ball, and the officials quickly over to talk to her. And coming out will be... Hunter and Bollinger and in field and Hottishell back in. 6.40 to go in the second quarter, 8-3 to three on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. And now Northfield will inbound it. On the near side now is Baker. Baker has it. Baker over the top to Crum. Into the middle. They kick it back out. Holmes kicks it out to Kuhn. Three on the way, no good. And the rebound's fought for, and Hoffman is going to be called for travel. That ball looked like it, that shot by Kuhn looked like it just ran out of air <laughs> about halfway up in the air, and it just kind of died like a balloon. And, and those are always hard to rebound. 28-26, Bremen leads Caston after three. So the Comets fighting their way back. Here's a shot blocked by McCarter, picked up by Northfield. Great block by Holmes. And there is Baker again. Or excuse me, that's Holmes. Holmes has four now. 10 to three. Northfield leads here at Northfield High School. 5.40 to go here in this first half. Clevenger with it. Top the key. Now gives it off to McCarter. McCarter to Clevenger. Back up to Hottishell. Hottishell, top the key. Here's Hottishell again, top of the key, gets it back from Wilson, now goes to McCarter. Wilson top of the key to Clevenger, to Hottishell around the outside perimeter. Trying to go down low to field. Now they get it to her, field goes up, and we're going to have a jump ball, and it's going to go back to Northfield. That was Crum. Hoover will come in, Crum will come out. Yeah, Crum did a good job of getting her hand in there as Field brought the ball down. Again, they're just very alert defensively, and every like screen. It's not like Rochester isn't setting screens. Yeah. They're just they're fighting through screens and they're communicating well through screens. Over to Hoffman, the falls knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Zebras. It'll stay with Northfield oh, underneath their own basket. That's frustrating because if you probably just let it roll, yeah. it maybe goes out of bounds. But you worry about Northfield coming and saving the ball. It has just been a rough, rough first 11 minutes of this game. So now there's a running jumper up by Baker Good. Baker has six of the 12. 4.45 to go here in the first oh, half, 12-3. Tough shot look easy there, Ellie Baker. The Carter off to Hottishell, over the top to Clevenger. Three right wing, off the mark, no good, and a quick rebound by Baker. Baker has the basketball. Baker gives it off to Kuhn. Kuhn, right wing. Over the top now to Hoover. Down low they go to Huffman. Hoffman loses it out of bounds. Turnover. Bollinger will check back in. Hottishell will sit down. Crumbs back in. And Kuhn will sit down for Northfield. 12 to 3. Northfield leads. 4.15 to go here in this first half. Rochester with their starters back out on, on the court. Here is McCarter, left side. Goes up a jumper, no good. A field and a Crum all tie up. And it'll be out of bounds to Rochester on the alternating possession. And again, that's Northfield just fighting through screens again. Ellie yeah. Baker just fought through a screen to help. And they're just playing hard on defense. 
Now over the top, the inbounds pass comes to McCarter. McCarter into the paint, jumper on the way, off the mark, no good. And the rebound comes away to Baker. Great closeout by Holmes. And then they get the rebound on top of that. Aaron Rochester's not had many putbacks either. Crum into Holmes, kicks it back out. They try to go to, they try to go to Huffman, and it goes through her hands. And I think here comes the Zebras. I think the entry pass was deflected by somebody before Field stole it. So, McCarter has the ball on the far side. McCarter with the basketball. McCarter, now to Wilson. Three on the way for Wilson. Short rebound fought for by Bollinger. Bollinger, one dribble, brings it back out to Wilson. Wilson into the paint, throws up a running jumper, and the rebound is fought for, and it'll go out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester. Hoover, Hoover got away with a foul. Yes, she, she did. Coach Burris wanted a, a foul and a shove on that shot by Wilson. She talked with Aubrey last night. She said she's been, she and the coach have been working on her shot, but said they're tweaking it now, and then they'll really get into it over the summer but just making a few minor adjustments right now. Clevenger backs it back out. 3.15 to go here in the first half. Still 12 to three on the Rochester glass scoreboard. Top of the key. Now they give it to McCarter on the wing. Dribbles in, kicks it to Wilson. Wilson, one dribble inside the three-point line. Now kicks it back out to Clevenger. Clevenger goes all the way around the top of the perimeter to McCarter. McCarter into the paint, head fake. Has it knocked loose, and now we're gonna get a foul. And I believe that's going to come on Baker. Nope, 22. That's going to be Hoover. Hoover's first team third. Or, excuse me, team's first of the quarter. And bounce by Field. Field gets it in over the top to Wilson. Wilson beats her defender. Pull up jumper at the free throw line is good. 12 to 5. Zebra's looking to put some press on. They get it over the middle. Now that is Holmes with it. Holmes into the paint, kicks it back out. Three on the way for Coons. Way short. Hoffman gets the rebound, goes back up. No good. Rebound fought for it. And there is Holmes with the rebound. No good. And Field finally pulls it down for the Zebras. Clevenger looking to push. Here's Wilson. Wilson has it to Clevenger. Clevenger right side, guarded by Crum. Goes down low to field, and that pass is going to be on the inbound. It's going to be a jump ball. Go back to Northfield. Turnover number four for Rochester. Six turnovers for Northfield. 12-5, to five, our score with 2.14 to go here in the first half. Jaden Field was calling for the ball in the post. Yeah. Came a little late. Hoover has it. Hoover makes a wild pass, saved by Kuhn. Now to Crump. Crum, top of the key. Now off to Hoover. Hoover loses it, but it goes into the hands of Kuhn. Kuhn, right side. Back to Hoover on this near side. Hoover around Wilson. Pull up jumper off the mark. No good. Rebound fought for, and another jump ball going back to Rochester this time. Jaden Field just battling down low. And here comes Baker back into the contest for Northfield. Randy and Val, glad you could join us here from Northfield High School. 145, 12 to 5, still the score. Again, I, th I think field is the matchup you want to expose here. There's Clevenger on the around the screen, and she's going to be fouled. It's going to be the second of the quarter, and the second on Hoover. Hoover picks up her second. So we'll see what Coach Ellsroth does with Hoover. She leaves her in and appears to be so far. For a minute 35 to go. Field looking to get it in. Nope, that's Bollinger. My apologies. Gets it in to Clevenger. Top of the key now to Wilson. 90 seconds remain in the half. Again, Hoover's got two personals and she's trying to guard Jaden Field. So I think Field's kind of your poster up. You want to get her a touch. Yeah. Other side, they're on they're on Bollinger's side. Now Field comes up to the top. Now McCarter has it. Go around the screen. McCarter back out to Clevenger. Clevenger with the basketball against Crum. Now into Bollinger in the paint. Bollinger, one dribble, kicks it back out to McCarter. 60 seconds remain to Clevenger. Clevenger, right side, back up top to McCarter. I think Zebras are going to be uh, patient here and look for that last shot of the quarter. They've been running, trying to run. Looks like they, they showed pick and roll with Bollinger. I wonder if maybe a pick and roll with Field might. Poster coming up. 
Actually just gonna run a horns. Wilson around Bollinger. And they roll uh, field the other way. Three on the way for Clevenger, no good. Rebound comes away to Northfield. It's five rebounds for Holmes, she averages 11. Holmes calling for the ball at the free throw line. Throws up his shot, good. Holmes has six, 14 to five. 15 seconds to go. Clevenger with it. Clevenger to McCarter. McCarter with seven. McCarter in the wing, pulls up to Clevenger, top of the key with three. Throws up a fourth shot, and the rebound's gonna come away to Hoover, and that's gonna do it for the half. At the end of one half, it's Northfield 14, Rochester 5. Back with the halftime show being brought to you by Odell Lumber. When we come back to Northfield High School here on Giant FM and RTC TV 4. As the Zebras are on defense, the original five on the floor. Looks like uh, original five for uh, Northfield as well. Baker, Coon, Hoover, Holmes, and Crump. Into the middle they go, kick it back out to Baker. Baker around the right side, around field, into Bollinger, throws up a shot, no good. Rebounds loose on the floor, picked up by Holmes. Holmes, turnaround jumper, in and good. Holmes with an easy two, and it's 16 to five. Bremen defeated Caston 38-33, the final. 38-33, Bremen over Caston. Here's Rochester with the basketball, their first possession of the second half. Goes down low to field. It's knocked loose by Crum, and we're going to have a jump ball. It'll stay with Rochester. Right idea. You said it needed to get to field some touches, but uh, Crum just has unbelievable hands. Yeah, bounce pass is tough. I, I'd almost like to maybe uh, yeah, to get there. It was interesting watching just watching some of the what was going on at halftime. Nate Basham was talking with Bollinger and Field. Jake and I was talking with Riley Clevenger, <laughs> and Joel Burris was talking with his son, I think. <laughs> he was kind of surveying all of it, but I think a lot of individual kind of sessions there going on in terms of. Zebras get it in. Wilson has it now left side to, Cle or to uh, McCarter. McCarter goes into the paint. Little baby hook, no good. Rebound comes away to Kuhn. That's the right idea, though. I don't know yeah. about the hook shot, but that's the right idea. I think that's a matchup advantage. I think Kuhn's going to have a hard time staying in front of Ella. Baker has it top of the key. Baker goes left side. Now to Kuhn. Hit zeroes in that 2-3 zone. Clevenger will come out a little higher on that. Now Wilson's out on Kuhn. Down low to Crum. They go to Hoover. Hoover. Turnaround jumper, no good. Hoover gets her own rebound back up and good. Hoover with two, her first two of the night. It's 18-15. Now the biggest lead continues to grow for oh, It just seems one of those nights. That was an ugly-looking shot by Crum. And then Hoover's, her first shot goes on the underside of the backboard, but it bounces right back to her. McCarter, pull-up jumper at the free throw line. Off the mark, no good. Field gets the rebound, but it's taken away by Hoover. And knocked out of bounds by Clevenger. Hoover just ripped in there and pulled that thing away. Very yeah. aggressive. She's strong. It's hard to rip the ball. We'll just rip it out of Jaden Fields' hands. Yeah. And so uh, it'll be Northfield basketball. Hoover will inbound right in front of the zebra bench. She gets it in to Coon. Coon gives it back to Baker. This Baker splits the defenders. Baker goes all the way to the hole, throws up a shot, and good. Wow. She dribbled around two defenders and then up and under two more, 20 Rochester to five. Ba Rochester basically went, that's as close as to a full court press as you'll see. It was basically yeah. a one three one half court trap. And now here is Clevenger on the far side. Clevenger Field handled it well. To McCarter. McCarter back to Clevenger good. against Crum. Now that was a good job by Kuhn fighting over the screen. Wilson has it down low, throws up a shot. Goes in over Baker. Wilson with their second points or second field goal of the night, 20 to seven. Full court press put on by Rochester. Northfield again breaks it easily. It's a three on two goes up, no good for Kuhn. The rebound pulled down by Bollinger, and now we're going to have a jump ball. It'll stay with Northfield. I 
Out of bounds to Northfield. 5-13 left in this third quarter. 20-7. Inbounds comes in to Holmes. Holmes on the goes to the other side with a power dribble. Goes up and gets fouled. And that one's going to be whistled against Field. Her first team first of the quarter. They're Not a lot of fouls tonight. Yeah. And this is the first free throw for either team. Yeah. There, are, there are not many stronger players in the TRC than Hannah Holmes. Holmes, first free throw is good. No, she is tough. <laughs> and the f- second free throw will be on the way. Holmes, free throw, good again. Make that 21, 22 to 7, sorry. She's got a nice touch, too. Yeah. Does have. Here's Wilson around the screen by Bollinger. Back up top now to Clevenger. Now to McCarter. Three on the way. Is way off the mark. Field with a rebound. Field goes back up. It's going to be blocked. Jump ball. Zebra basketball. <laughs> so it'll be Zebra basketball out of bounds. Field will look to take it out. Boy, Hoover's been good, and she was able to force a jump ball there. Wilson gets the inbounds pass, top of the key. Around the screen, Wilson throws up a shot, rebound comes away to Kuhn. And that was Holmes with a block. Now it gives up to Baker. Baker will bring it across the timeline against Clevenger. Clevenger strips it, ball's loose. Well, McCarter picks it up, gets it up to Wilson. Wilson layup up, handed no good. Pressure put on by Hoover, and the layup was a little short as Hoover was all over. I think Northfield might have gotten away with the foul there. And now it'll be out of bounds to Rochester. Close. Field looking to inbound again. Aubrey Wilson just shaking her head. Kind of, I don't know if she was shaking her head because she thought she got fouled or just shaking her head because she thought she McCarter believe she missed a layup. Gets a little 10-foot jumper to roll. Finally, her first points of the game. 22-9. Zebras again with full court presser put on. There's... Baker over the top goes to Kuhn. Kuhn goes down low to Holmes. Holmes has it knocked out of bounds. Last touched off of Holmes. Zebra basketball. Tough screen by J.C. Crom. She might not be the tallest player, but she is fearless yep. out there. She is quick, too. Here is Wilson. Round to the right side. Now to McCarter. McCarter. Screen by Bollinger. Bounce pass down low as Bollinger goes to the hole. She's going to be fouled, and she'll get to go to the line for the first time tonight, and that's on Hoover. That's her third, team first of the quarter, and that will put on Bollinger to the free throw line. Well, Rochester's not a big pick-and-roll team just because Coach Burris is not a big high ball screen guy, but that was a pick-and-roll run very, very well there. Bollinger off the mark, no good. Coming in for uh, Hoover will be Hoffman. Callie Hoffman will replace Hoover with three fouls. Bollinger has a second opportunity. Free throw on the way is good this time. 22 to 10. Full court press put on by the Zebras. Crum will get it across the timeline. Crum takes it right at Bollinger and dribbles it right out of bounds. Bollinger standing her ground there, and Crum tried to go around her and lost the basketball. Audrey just really moved her feet well there. So Zebras will have it. 3.46 to go in the third, 22-10. And Kuhn basically, or was it Crum just dribbled it out to the highway? <laughs> Here is McCarter with it, right side. McCarter into the paint, down low to Bollinger, up and good. Bollinger with her first field goal. She's got three points now, and it's 22 to 12. Leads yeah. down to 10 for Northfield. That's the matchup advantage. She won McCarter with the ball in her hands just about every time. There is a fake by Kuhn. I thought she was going to pass it. She kept it. Layup goes up and no good, but a rebound, a foul coming against Bollinger. And that will send Holmes back to the line to shoot two. Holmes has 10 points and make it 11 with that free throw. 
We were talking about Hannah Holmes. We saw her as a freshman in the semi-state game against Pioneer back in 2021, and you can tell she was going to be a good one even, even then. Holmes, second free throw is good again. 24-12. Here is Wilson. Wilson, top of the key, goes around the screen by Bollinger, gets another screen by Field. Now off to Clevenger. Clevenger gives it back to Wilson. Downhill goes Wilson. Blocked by Baker. Baker picks it up. Baker then dribbles between two zebras. Baker to the hole. No good and a foul coming. And a couple zebras, Bollinger and Wilson, run into each other at the other end. And that's the last thing you need is anybody to get injured here before sectionals. As Wilson kind of come up limping a little bit. Hunter getting ready to come in. That foul was on McCarter, her first. Baker's free throw is good. Field will come out, Hunter in. Northfield now five for five from the line. And that was just a great play by Ellie Baker with a block and then showing the ball handling. And Baker's second one good. Drawing a foul on her good friend, Ellen McCarter. 26-12. Top of the key. Now they go left side here to McCarter. McCarter into the block. Out to Clevenger. Three on the way. Off the mark. No good. Hunter battles for the rebound. Gets it. Goes up. No good. And Crum comes away with the rebound. Crum has it. Crum gives it up to Hoffman. Hoffman against Clevenger. Now over to Holmes. Holmes into the paint. Stripped by Clevenger. Good quick hands by Riley Clevenger. To Wilson, right wing. Wilson gives it back to McCarter, left side. McCarter then is going to be called for an offensive foul. McCarter going to pick up her second, team second. 26-12 here in the third quarter. And we have a bench warning against the coach and coach Burris is told to uh, get back in his box so he has a warning for that. I don't think he necessarily said anything but I think he was just kind of a stare down there. Yeah. Pass is deflected and the Zebras come away with it. Here's Clevenger. Clevenger with the basketball to Wilson. To Clevenger they bring it near side to McCarter. McCarter dribbles down out to Hunter. Hunter now to Clevenger, into the paint, gives it to Wilson, ball's knocked loose, and it's going to be last touch by Northfield to be Zebra basketball. Quick hands by Ellie Baker again. Rochester fortunate to maintain possession. Coming in for Northfield will be Faith Crum. She'll replace Holmes. Faith Crum played an excellent JV game. Another tall post player coming up for Northfield. Clevenger with the basketball. Right side. Clevenger against Crump. Tries to go down low to Bollinger, and I'm not sure if it was the pass or just the catch, but a exchange that didn't complete, and it goes out of bounds. Northfield with it. Here's Crum in the backcourt. Crum back over to the top to Baker. Baker ahead to, ahead to Kuhn off her foot, and we're going to have a timeout by Northfield with 1.24 to go here in the third quarter. It is a full timeout. We'll take it as well. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Back here at Northfield High School after the timeout by the Lady Norris to save the arrow. It'll be Northfield Basketball underneath their own basket. They give it in to Kuhn. Back up top to Baker. Baker has it. Crum back to Baker. Back over to Crum. They give it off to Hoffman, up off the glass, no good. Cleven, or excuse me, McCarter rips down the rebound. McCarter looks to push. Clevenger, back to McCarter, fakes the three, puts it on the floor, stolen by Crum. Crum has it, one on three. Crum goes up, layup short, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Northfield, Zebra basketball. 57 seconds left to go that in touch, this third quarter. Did that touch Crom while she was standing out of bounds or did that touch another Northfield I think it play? touched another one before that. 
50 seconds remaining here in the third, 26-12 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Clevenger comes around the screen by Bollinger, gives it up to Hunter. Hunter, free throw line, kicks it back to McCarter, top of the key. McCarter has it, goes downhill, throws up a running jumper, no good. Rebounds tipped on the floor, and we're going to have a foul. And I believe that might be against Wilson, and it is. It's going to be her second team third. And then it's going to third. Okay. I only had three. Do you have five? I have five. Okay. Oops. Okay. I think I forgot to mark some. So they will go to the line to shoot two with 33.4 seconds to go. And J.C. Crum will yeah. do the two. I, I think facing a player like Crum uh, will really help out Riley Clevenger moving forward, a player who's just right kind of almost in her midsection. Free throw is good. 27 to 12. Northfield now have one more free throw. I'm not sure Riley's gotten this much defensive attention all year. I mean, free throw good again. 28 to 12. 30 seconds to go here in the third. Wilson will bring it across the timeline. Wilson will go to the near side to Clevenger. Clevenger around the screen by Bollinger. She'll stop. Pop a three on the way. No good. And the rebound comes away to Baker. Baker has it with 15. Baker double team. She gets it up to Kuhn. Kuhn now goes over to Hoffman. Hoffman kicks it back out to Baker. Baker in the corner. Dribbles it back up top. Now to Kuhn. Over to Crum. She'll fire a three on the way. Too hard. And it comes right back to her. She'll fire it again at the buzzer. No good. And that'll do it for the third quarter. On the Rochester Glass scoreboard at the end of three, 28 to 12, Rochester trails here at Northfield High School. Fourth and final corner on the way. Giant FM and RTC TV4. And Kuhn on the floor. Rochester back with the uh, original five, but Hunter in. And there goes Hoffman for two. 30 to 12 now. Field will come back in quickly. Uh, the next opportunity. Well, again, it's a risky defense Rochester's playing. If they can disrupt Northfield at the top, they can make some things happen, but if they don't, they can get layups. Wilson with the basketball. Wilson throws up a shot. No good. Holmes with another rebound. That's not really a great shot. I, again, I, I like Aubrey shooting on the move, but see, Northfield with it. Crum goes into Holmes. She kicks it back out. Here is Baker. Baker to Crum on the other side. Now back up top to Holmes. Holmes guarded by Clevenger. Now gives it pass to by Coon. Crum, but it got there. In to Huffman. Back out. Here's Baker. Three on the way from the corner is good. Ellie Baker's got three more. And now it's 33-12. Well, I don't think this was ever thought of, I mean, as a possibility of Rochester's being run out of the gym. And we get a steal and then a turnover on Callie Huffman. Bollinger will come out and in will be a field. 6.45 to go here in the fourth. Zebras with the basketball right in front of Coach Burris. Get it in to Wilson. Here's McCarter, deep three on the way is good. Ella's got five. And it's 33-15. Here is Kuhn with it. Kuhn to a wide open Huffman up and good. Northfield running the break very nicely. 20 point lead now for Northfield. Here's Wilson. Wilson throws up a shot. She's gonna be fouled and is that gonna be against Baker? Or against Crom? Nope, Crom. It'll be her second. Team first to the fourth. And it'll be out of bounds. On the floor was the call, so it'll be out of bounds to the Zebras. Clevenger will inbound. Clevenger over the top to McCarter. McCarter gets it in, back to Clevenger, back to McCarter. McCarter puts it on the floor, and now a foul coming against Kuhn. Going to be her second. Team second. Hunter, she'll inbound at this time. 
Hunter tries to get it into field, tipped away, picked up by Northfield. That was Hannah Holmes on defense. Here is Huffman. Huffman gets it across, now picks it up. They go into the middle to Holmes, kicks it out to Kuhn, bow back up to Baker. Baker to Crum, down low to Holmes against field. Holmes up and under, fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. And that one's going to be whistled against Brantley and Hunter. Hunter's first, her first, uh, team first of the quarter. Holmes back to the free throw line. Two free throws on the way, and that one's good. Hottishell will come in, and Hunter will sit down. And Holmes doesn't mess around in the post. She's no. really decisive with her moves. Hoffman second, or excuse me, Holmes the second free throw is no good. And the rebound's on the floor, picked up by Baker. Baker throws up a shot, no good. And Hottishell will come away with the rebound for Rochester. Here's Wilson. She'll fire a three off the mark, no good. Field gets the rebound, right back up to Holmes, no good. Field gets another rebound. She'll kick it out this time to McCarter. McCarter into the paint, and she's going to be fouled by Crum. And McCarter now will go to the line to shoot two. McCarter will shoot her first free throws of the night with 5.27 to go here in the fourth. That free throw is good. Six points now for McCarter. 36-16. One more free throw for McCarter. It's up and good. 36-17. Quickly down is Northfield. Wide open layup up and no good for Huffman. The rebound fought for, still loose on the ground. We're gonna have a jump ball. It'll be zebra basketball. Callie Huffman had a wide open layup and left it short as two passes broke that press pretty easily for yeah, Northfield. Yeah, I know they didn't get a basket there, but Coach Elsrod has to be pretty happy with their team's press break. They've handled it pretty well tonight, and that's exactly how you want to be going into the postseason. McCarter has it tipped for Crum, right back to McCarter. Now Clevenger three on the way, good. 36-20. Crum with the basketball, loses it. Clevenger's going to tie her up. It'll stay with Northfield. So at 4.56, the possession arrow, Northfield. Now they'll give it off to Baker. Again, they're blitzing Baker and forcing her to give up the ball. And so it's really a credit to players like Kuhn and Crum to... Right down to Holmes they go. Holmes up off the glass, doesn't get the roll. But Carter rips the rebound. Kuhn and Crom have handled it well and passed it yeah. well, even when they forced the ball to Baker's hands. A Carter charge. <laughs> Ella McCarter picks up her third, team second of the quarter. They get it into Baker. Baker will run right down the sideline on the far side and breaks the press easily. And now. She'll have the basketball against Clevenger. Gives it to Crum, right back to Baker. Baker over the top to Crum, into Huffman. Kicks it out to Kuhn. Three on the way for her. In and out, no good. Rebound, Wilson. Wilson will give it to Hottishell. Hottishell down the floor, gives it to Clevenger. Three left wing, short. And it'll go out of bounds. And it'll be Northfield basketball. You can tell uh, Ellen McCarter is really tired. Yeah. She barely made it up past half court that last possession. She's had to do a lot of work. Crum has it, gives it off to Kuhn. On both ends. Kuhn down low to Huffman. Huffman then is going to be fouled by Field. Field is going to pick up her second team third. And now Bollinger will check back in. She will replace Field. Three fifty-four to go here in the fourth. Thirty-six twenty. Northfield still leads on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Huffman up off the glass, good. Huffman just took it right at the zebra defense. Boy, she's a nice six player. I mean, a lot of kids don't. A lot of teams do not have a bench player yeah. like that, and she's a really nice player. A Carter. I mean, she averaged about five rebounds a game off the bench for them as well. Clevenger back to Hottishell. Hottishell right side. 
Dribbles in, into the paint, gives it down low to Bollinger. Bollinger, left hand layup up, no good. Rebound fought for, and Crum comes away with it. Crum with the basketball. Here is Baker. She goes right to the hole. Now we're going to have an offensive sc- offensive foul on a screen by Holmes as she was trying to clear the way for Baker, and she gets caught. Her first team fourth. And I think she didn't really have to do that. <laughs> no, I think Baker was going to the hole either way. Yeah. Zebras have it now. McCarter up top. 3.05 to go. Zebras trail by 18. It's interesting because Joel Burris has talked about playing through fatigue a lot in regards yeah. to Ella McCarter. And we're kind of seeing that here. I mean, Ella's, she's had a lot on her plate, no doubt. But like he says, you've got to play through it somehow. Clevenger for a three. Good. Her third three of the night. 38 23. Back to a 15 point lead for Northfield. Here is Kuhn. Kuhn running layup. No good. Bollinger has the rebound and a foul coming. And it's going to be against Holmes, her second. Teams. That's bonus. Five should be the bonus, yeah. And now the Zebras will walk to the end and shoot free throws with 2.34 left here to go in the fourth quarter, trailing 38-23 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Bollinger, one for two on the night from the free throw line. She's got three points. And that rebound, or free throw is no good by Bollinger. She'll have one more. Hunter will check in if Bollinger makes this free throw. It's on the way, and good. Hunter will come in, Bollinger will sit down. 2.34 to go. 38-23 now our score. Northfield leads on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Uh, what we, what I like about Braylon Hunter is that she's really improved her rebounding. Uh, well. I mean, she, she keeps adding a little more to her game over time. Wilson called for a reach in, her third, team fourth. We've known she can shoot since day one. And then over the top, ball's tip, picked back up by Baker. Baker then is going to be fouled, and that will be the Zebra fifth. That will send Northfield to the line to shoot. That foul was whistled against. Clevenger. Clevenger, okay. We've, we've known, Her first. I was going to say, we've known Braylon Hunter can shoot, and as time progressed, we know she can play defense, and she can play defense in most spots in the 2-3, and now we're seeing that she's a pretty good rebounder as well. First free throw missed by Baker. Second one is good. She's got 14 points. 39-24. Here's Wilson with it. Wilson to Clevenger. Now top of the key to Hottishell. Over to Hunter. Three on the way. No good. Rebound fought for. Wilson will tie it up against Baker. It'll stay with Rochester. Nice rebound by Aubrey Wilson that time. Battle and Baker for that one. Mm-hmm. Now, one question, Knox is going to be watching this film, and they're going to be wondering, should we play man-to-man against Rochester? <laughs> be interesting. All right. Again, when Coach Minix was there, they were definitely a zone coach. This Three is a on zone the team. Clevenger misses. McCarter rebound. Reverse layup up and good. 39-27. And a foul going to come against Tottishell. Going to be her first team over the bonus, so that will send Crum to the line. Crum's got two points, both coming from the free throw line. Free throw on the way is no good. 39 26, 149 to go. They were being nice and they gave Rochester an extra point, but it's 39 26. And coming in is Bollinger. Okay, so it is 26. All right, that's what I thought. Free throw is missed by Crum, picked up by Bollinger. Here's Hottishell. Minute 40. Top to Wilson. Wilson around the right side. Wilson 
Tries to throw up a shot, no good. Crum gets the rebound. She falls out of bounds, throws it loose. Picked up by Hunter. Now picked up by Bollinger. Now picked up by Hottishell. Oh, great effort by Riley Clevenger. Wilson, three, right wing, good. That all started because of Riley Clevenger diving on the floor for a loose ball. And now it is 39-29, down to a 10-point Northfield lead, and the Zebras call a timeout. It is a full timeout. We'll take one as well. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM, and RTC TV4. Crum will inbound. Crum looking to get it in, gets it in to Baker. Baker back to Crum, over the top to Baker. Cross-court pass to Kuhn. Kuhn will get it across the timeline. Now to Holmes, now to Baker. She'll fire a three good. Oh, my gosh. That was a no, 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 yes. 42-29, 65 seconds to go. And that's pretty much the dagger. Out of show with it to Clevenger. Clevenger back to Wilson, under a minute now. Out of show. Clevenger, three on the way for her, way off the mark, no good. And the rebound is to Kuhn, but a foul coming against Bollinger. It's going to be her third, and we'll walk to the other end to shoot free throws. Free throws on the way for Cameron Kuhn. Scoreless here this, this evening, but she has definitely been a factor in the ball handling. Free throw bounces around and falls through. 43-29. Zebras will drop back to 500. Free throw good by Kuhn. 44-29, 49 seconds. Here's Clevenger, now to Hottishell. Back up top to Wilson at the volleyball line. Wilson gives it up to Hottishell, knocked loose. Hottishell picks it back up. Now to Clevenger, she'll fire a three. Air ball and picked up by, picked up by Kuhn, but stripped by Rochester. And now a foul coming, and I believe it's gonna be against Northfield, it is on Huffman. And that will send Riley Clevenger back to the line to shoot two. I think we've set the record this year for most try to throw it off the leg of a person <laughs> and it doesn't work plays. Yeah, I've seen more in a row here that happens. <laughs> You're right. 27.3 seconds to go. Clevenger, free throw, doesn't roll. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to, uh, we're serenading Riley Clevenger with happy birthday. Today is her birthday. I don't know how the Northfield students knew it. Social media, come on, yeah. Val. I guess, yeah. <laughs> Free throw is good for Clevenger. 44-30. Pressure put on him again by the Zebras. Here's Huffman with it. And a foul finally coming against Wilson. Wilson's going to pick up her fourth. And to the other end will walk and shoot free throws by Callie Huffman. Hoffman with two free throws, her first two of the afternoon or the evening. Misses that one. Yeah, but I, I, this has got to be Northfield's best win of the year. If it's not, it's got to be right up there. I mean, they, Eight. like we said, they haven't beaten a team with a winning record. And that one's missed. Hunter rips down the rebound. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger with the basketball. Near side now to Hottishell. 15 seconds to go. Clevenger, right side. Clevenger. To Wilson, she'll fire a three. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Three more for Wilson. 44-33. And a foul coming with 5.5 seconds to go. And Wilson just fouled out. And Field will come in for her. Ten points for Aubrey Wilson. And now Crum at the free throw line makes the first one. 45-33. And they had not beaten a team with a winning record all year. Rochester came in 11-10. and 10. Free throw is made. 46-33. Rochester will look to get it inbound to Hunter. Now back to Clevenger with two, with one. Hottishell will fire it at the buzzer, and that will do it. The Northfield Norse defeat the Rochester Zebras tonight, 46-33 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. When we come back, the postgame brought to you by Perkins and Adley, the law firm built for your current and future 
legal needs. The buzz game on the way. We'll choose the player of the game, and we'll talk with Coach Joel Burris. That's all coming up after this quick timeout. Zebras lose a tough one, 46-33 here at Giant FM and RTC TV 4.